here is the basic scenario. These Falmouth High School students are investigating a mock crime scene. The biggest thing I can say is draw a sketch. A pedestrian hit in a crosswalk, the driver leaving the car behind and taking off into the woods. It's a hit and run. Did you take your photographs? And the job of these students is to figure out exactly what happened. So there may be some stuff that's going to stand out right away. The students, 11th and 12th graders, are taking forensics, logic, mystery, and writing. A relatively new class at the high school, which combines two subjects not traditionally offered together. The pedestrian is fine. They refuse medical treatment. Kim the Blank is a science call. teacher. Lisa Davison teaches English. Where kids learn about forensics and the science related to that, but also about crime writing or mystery and story development. So we need that to stay together, right? And they learn about it in a unique way. All right, here's a crime scene, and what do you observe when you see it, and, and what should your next step be? Just pour it in there. Helping the students process the scene and reconstruct the accident. Just keep on mixing. Is Falmouth police officer Matt Eaton. They've learned a little bit about uh, tire marks and impressions, so they're going to bring that all in now and try to put it together in a practical application. The students wasted no time documenting the scene, taking notes, pictures, measurements, and collecting all kinds of evidence. We've been doing different like units about um, certain things like blood and like other things that all like incorporate into this so it's really fun. It's really exciting because a lot of stuff we do is like labs inside and taking notes so when we actually get out to do stuff it's like putting it all together which is fun. We're using physics, we're using uh, geometry, we're using trigonometry, calculus, all of that is coming into play when we're looking at a crash scene. Don't be afraid you get a bunch of it in there. And learning from the experts is a lesson in itself. It's really cool to talk to people who that's like their life and their job and what they do and we can so learn from them and their experiences. You just kind of put it on there, kind of like you're putting on a sticker. This kind of hands-on, realistic work is also giving the students a new perspective. Watching movies now too, I'm like, oh, they did that all wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Using words and numbers to solve a mystery. In Falmouth, Shannon Moss, New Center, Maine. On Thursday, Officer Yeaton will show the students how the measurements they took, the skid marks, the pressure and threat, uh, tread depth of the tires, can help determine how fast the car was going when the driver in this scenario hit the brakes. And by the way, the answer involves a lot of physics and math. Way above That's why we leave it to them. <laughs> That's right.